Welcome back, everybody. I'm PC Outcast, and this is more of Find Love or Die Trying, and... Congratulations, Vladimir Vladimirovich. You've made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for their money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's before we got the zombies involved, believe it or not. I am glad to hear that. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? Um... I figure it's best to make things seem uncertain as possible and not get too focused on any one girl. Oh. Kat said that getting low ratings during the show could end up with them shutting it down early. If that happened this time, then game over. The only reason why we're able to make these moves right now is because Allie's machine glitch glitched out. Who knows if that would ever happen again? No room for error. She's definitely, definitely my number one right now, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see, but I've got a really good feeling about her. I like the sound of that. But you know what I like even more? Drama. And what better way to start that fire than a full day date with another woman? If it ain't broke. So who's it gonna be? Eh... Oh. What? Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope, not even a bit. Really? It's right by the game's room and it's not the hidden one. I'm starting to understand why you've been stuck here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks when I saw a cat open it using a black key that she kept on a key ring in her pocket. Definitely a master key. I've seen her use the same key, both in the mansion as well as on other buildings. Sounds like it'd be pretty good to get their hands on that. Exactly. You get me that key, even for a minute, I can make a mold of it that we can use as a duplicate key. I'm betting that would be pretty helpful for helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. That's awesome, but wouldn't Cat notice her master key going missing? You're absolutely right, especially if you or I take it. I'm feeling a but coming. But it won't be you or I taking it. Eh? Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. Let me go get Yui. By the end of tonight, you'll both understand why it has to be you two. I'd say sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay? Trust me, Vladimir Vladimirovich, when have I ever been wrong? I could list every single date we've been on as evidence. Those don't count. Don't they? Yui. There's just something about her, you know? We'll make it happen. It was the first date since getting all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk out in the woods, same date we had when we truly had met again for the first time. It was a little awkward at first, figuring out how to not give away what we knew on camera, but we figured it out pretty quick. So nice to see you again, Vladimir Vladimirovich. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, it's gotta be fate, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel uh, a little like things are going a little over my head. The show, meeting you again, everything, it's, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything's just moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything, thing, everything feels right, like I know it's going to be okay. Would it be okay if we just spend today this way? She leaned in, leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Wait a minute. What about getting the master key? Ah, uh, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Bun bun bun. Bun bun bun. Darted out of a nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Oh, who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot. Bun bun bun. Hunt! Bun 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 leapt out of her arms, then dashed towards the mansion. 
And with that out of the way, how about we walk a little longer? What just happened? She reached for my hand, then held it tight. I'd like that. I mean, I'd like that. We walked and talked for hours. When we took breaks, we laid next to each other in the grass, talking about everything and anything. Yui's a lovely girl. At times I remembered how dire the situation we were in, and I couldn't help but freeze up. But with Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Even when she couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she found ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile, uh, made me feel lighter than air. And life with her would be wonderful. Gotta make sure to get us all out of here safe. Vladimir? Yeah. I love you, Vladimir. I hope we can spend another day together just like this soon. I can't wait for that day, Yui. I'll be counting the days till then. We walked back to the mansion together hand in hand, then went our separate ways. Vladimir Vladimirovich, you would not believe what happened to me today. What happened, Gut? I got attacked by some kind of forest monster. It was at least 10 feet tall, had monstrous teeth, and there was at least five of them. Took everything I had not to laugh. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. I made sure that four deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and dramatic. That's good to know. This is the worst run yet. What do you mean by that? Ah, nothing. I've just had a long day. I bet. You should get some rest while you have a chance. Five forest beasts is nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all, cat. Forest beasts affect one in ten people. It could happen to you. Right, right. I'll see you later, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Good night. Hmm. Mission success. Can't believe that worked. How did you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to our special training last night. I may have made a few contracts with a few devils from the forest, but... I'm sorry, what? I'm half kidding. Don't worry about it. Which half? Are the keys ready to use? Not yet, which sucks. It's going to take a little longer for the makeshift plaster to set. Where did you get the plaster from, by the way? Believe me, knowing more about how we got it will not make you any happier as a person. I'm cool with not knowing. Anyway, the keys will probably be usable by tomorrow morning, but you'll have to have your next date by then. We'll test them out as soon as it's night tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Let's go, team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, Vladimir? Ors disabled the audio recordings in the house at night, so we should be able to talk back up there. I'll let them know. I walk back up the staircase back into the mansion. Where are they? Uh, I can hear some sounds from the kitchen. Make my way over. Violet, looking angry. Hey, Violet, how are you? Huh? Goodness, apologies, Vladimir Vladimirovich. I didn't see you there. You seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides the way... Besides the, say, hundreds of different versions of memories of the same week? I'm worried for the people back home. Yui has her brothers to worry about, though she tries not to burden anyone with that feeling. Everyone has family out there, and who knows what's happened to them in the last, well, however long we've been trapped here. I've never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, they must be worried sick. Ugh. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be happy to see you again. You're right, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Though there's no way you could know that for sure, could you? I guess so, but we've got to believe, right? I suppose you're right, once again. Why did I keep using my name? My full name. When we finally escape this dreadful place, I'm gonna I'm going to hold them so tight. Kind of funny. What is, Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, you did. Her name was uh, Viola? That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. 
You know the type? She came first and just bet everything while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. Then there was the accident. She... She saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could. And in the end... She was hit before I was. And she died for it. I am so sorry, Violet. I... Before then, I had no problem being second place to her. But for her sake, for just that one time, I wish I had come in first. I'm oversharing, aren't I? I apologize. It's been a... It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. You're kind, Vladimir Vladimirovich. It's something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my very best to live up to the standards she set for my parents. You can probably guess how well that went. I wasn't as good as, as at, should be at, running the business, or appearing prim and proper, or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing. Really, that's the whole reason why I came here. My parents saw an ad for the show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house to make more room for my new baby brother. Couldn't resist the chance for them to support me for once. At times I feel like I can't do anything right. Look at how this show has developed. This is a nightmare in every regard. I love... Yes? I held her in my arms tightly. Huh? You're an incredible woman and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I've seen you put the fear of God into the Brothers Five and make delicious meals that some people would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's one we're going to get out of together, and we wouldn't be able to do that without you. Uh... You're too kind. Thank you for the... I appreciate it. But enough about me. Have you remembered anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't, but I'm hoping that the master key we pilfered will help with that. I hope so, for your sake. In the event where it go does not provide any answers... My previous offer about finding you help outside of here to get your memories back stands. Thanks, Violet. I really appreciate that. The least I could do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know. I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here, perhaps you'll join me for, say, a lovely cruise around what's left of the world? I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We talked for a few, mo a few moments longer before retiring for the night. For once I lay in bed not worrying about being killed. For once I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. Only up from here, I... Vladimir Vladimirovich! Ali, what are you? Never mind that, you've got to come down to the lab. What is it? We found something, and I know you'll want to see it. He reached for my hand and pulled me as we ran. What? Uh-oh. The other girls were already there, crowded around a table with a pile of folders on top of it. What's going on? I was just looking around the lab when I stumbled across these. They are our files. I didn't read anyone's but my own, but I have to warn you. Caution was the last thing on all of our minds. Most of us scrambled to find our own file, except for Yui, who is already holding hers, and Allie. Weird. There's no file for me here. I double-checked, but there's nothing for me. Guess I'm not getting any answers today. Allie slowly walked to the pile, found her own, then opened it in one fluid motion. Interesting. What is it? Allie Major, sent to the island for being suspected of committing treason against the government. Selected for the experimental show for fitting the sporty girl archetype. We need one of those. Ah, good to know this whole getup was a good idea. Did you know I actually effing hate sports? I'd never seen Allie look so angry. Let's see, they got all the fake information I gave. That sounds about right. What is it? They've been taking extremely detailed notes on me for every single one of the show for the past two years. What I've done, things I've said in private or with others, 
I've got notes down here to how and when I brush my teeth. How I react differently when they change the show or tell me different things or we're nothing but lab rats to them. It's true and it's my fault. What do you mean? If I hadn't invented this machine in the first place, none of this would have ever happened. Eh, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, Scarlet. You really wanted to help people, and that was a great thing. Whoever used your invention for this is to blame, not you. You say so, Vladimir. My files say that they wiped my memories and put me on the show to make sure that... no one else could build this technology? I can't even begin to understand how that could even be a reason for causing all of this. I'm not sure we'd even want to understand the people who run this place. The room fell silent. I wanted to crack a joke to ease the tension, but it was impossible. Thank goodness. Wait, what? I'm surprised to hear you say that, you all things considered. Ah, sorry, I... I know how that must have sounded. Sorry, guys. Mine's the same as Ali, as they've tracked and measured and commented on so many things about us so many times, it feels so violating. But it's not all bad. Did I ever tell you why I came on this show, Vladimir? No, why is that? Ah, I forgot. I wasn't allowed to tell you, that was one of the conditions. Eh? To be completely transparent, the reason was money, and nothing but that. It was hard enough to take care of myself without my parents, let alone two brothers and a whole farm. I remember now, it was Kat who reached out to me. Told me that if I came onto the show, my brothers and the farm would be taken care of for life. I know this is all horrifying, but I'm just glad she held up her end of the deal. Did they take care of them, though? Even if I might die here and never see them again. Oh, that's too depressing to think, Huey. We're going to get out of here and see your brothers again, together. Thanks, Vladimir. I like that. I'm curious, Yui, what kind of archetype did they list you as? Uh, the girl next door. Damn it, that sounds a lot better than gaming gremlin. Yui, Scarlet, Allie, and I laughed. Times like these, having a mood lifter like Terra was around was critical. I looked at Violet, who had been silent the whole time. She was trembling. Violet, are you... Please, God, don't let this be true. Violet fell to her knees and sobbed in her hand, with her hands against her face. I rushed to her side. Are you okay, Violet? Violet threw her folder against the floor, causing the papers inside to scatter through the room. Nothing is okay, Vladimir Vladimirovich. It doesn't matter if I get off this island or not. I'm not like you. I have nothing to go back to, no one to stand by me. There's nothing for me either way. Violet, wait! She ran to the stairs. Her sobs echoed through the staircase and through the lab. I moved to follow her, but Yui stopped me. I think she might need some time alone, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Okay, let's just keep on using my full name. I didn't mean to look, but after her papers scattered around the room, I... Maybe you should just read it. Yui handed me the papers that were on, in Violet's file. Violet Valentine is a special case, otherwise unremarkable, but she's the daughter of Edgar and Vane. Edgar and Vane Valentine, one of our primary investors. It is my understanding that they have recently had a son and want for him to be the next heir after Viola passed. Edgar and Vane want their remaining daughter, Violet, sent the remaining daughter, Violet, to us, full well knowing that the what the show would entail. They've paid us an incredible sum to make sure that she does not return from the show. Even for me, this is too cruel. It was too hard to keep reading. I closed the folder and just stared open-mouthed at Yui. There were no words. I knocked on Violet's door later that night, but it was no use. Please, just leave me alone, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Eh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Violet. Even if she want, even if she opened the door, I would have no idea what I was supposed to say. What could anyone say? I was wrong. Not only up from here. 
There's a long way down. Well, that's pretty sucky. Hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep well last night. Who could after what happened? And just like that, we're on to day three. I gotta thank you, Vladimir Vladimirovich. You're making my job easy. I actually get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to uh, happy to help with that, however that works. You all right? You don't seem to have your usual energy. Careful, Vladimir Vladimirovich. One slip up and cat with cat and this will be all over. I'm good. Thanks, Kat. I just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, it goes without saying that Yui is definitely a contender for the final ceremony. Hmm? Of course. A woman like Yui, anyone, be, anyone would be lucky to have her. Damn straight. Though she's a very different kind of woman than Scarlet, you've got a tough choice down the road. Though you've also got a tough choice to make right now. Who's the unlucky girl today? Nah. So, who should I be asking on the day tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside, I think you should ask Violet. Really? I don't think she's in any shape to put on a good show. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together well to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to until she's feeling better. And what better way to do that than a date to make you feel special? Sarah yeah, does have a, good, a great point. I always make great points. What do you mean? All my points are great. Like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. I went right. Oh, I remember that. Wait, I was the zombie. That was not a good idea at all. Can I take my vote back? What do you think, Vladimir Vladimirovich? I like the idea. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure there's something we could do to help us escape that would uh, that we could only do on a date with Violet. Hmm. I've got it. Tomorrow, you'll be going on a date with Violet. Here's what you gotta do. Violet. I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no time like the ple present. Like the pleasant. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request, though. What's that? And will it give me ratings? I think it will. Then let's hear it. I've noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I heard she's re she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked with the staff at noon? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. The last time? Oh, hi, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Why'd you bring me here? I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, I may have made an irresponsible bet. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not, but the thing is, I heard the cooks bragging that they were the best chefs on the island. But hey, I've tried the food you've made before. I know nobody else could come, clo come close to how good you are. So I may have challenged them all to a competition in your name. Ah. You're you are ridiculous, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Violet laughed out loud. There's that smile I like so much. It's nice to see it again. Are you being serious? I'm dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of staff are going to come here. Some of them are as challenging cooks. Some of some as judges. The rest of them looking for for lunch. All of them are hungry. I think you're up for the challenge? Ah. Uh, I'm ready to crush the opposition. It will rue the day they challenge me. That's the violet I like to see. Anyway, what's the theme of this contest? I can't tell you that just yet. It'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare for festivities? Of course, violet. Thank you, Vladimir Vladimirovich. I know why we're doing this, and I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but I feel happier already knowing you're looking out for me. I will always be here for you. I am always here for you, Violet. And I for you as well, Vladimir Vladimirovich. 
spent the time before the contest just talking about pleasant things completely unrelated to the show, completely unrelated to anything of consequence. Sometimes when bad things happen, what you need most is just a semblance of normalcy. Oh boy, here they are. By the time noon rolled around, hundreds of staff members were filling up the kitchen. I don't want to face you, Violet, but I will if I have to. Oh, you're challenging me? Like a snail challenging the mighty eagle? You have my respect. Eep. Is it too late to change sides? You're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers Five, the best chefs on the island. What's that, too? What I meant to say was, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. That's right. Damn it, bros, you can't let her intimidate you like this. If we do, she's already won. Say something for. We will meet on the culinary battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and five. Come at me. Let us brandish our forks against each other. Five, do you have anything to say? Wait, what's happening? I do hope you'll entertain me, brothers. Violet raised a pan towards them. Let us begin. It is time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own cook in a pot of cooks. One version of a mystery dish, a dish that I will soon reveal for the first time ever. The judges will be everyone who is not a contestant. Ah! You must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everybody? That's not my problem. And I definitely didn't come up with the rules for this tournament on the spot. Liar. Violet laughed once more. That was enough to keep this charade going. The shroud. My mystery dish will be spaghetti and meatballs. Like taking candy from a baby. Not this again, oh god, I think I'm gonna faint. One collapsed on the ground. One down, four to go. Bro. I knew we should have been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? You each have one hour. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin. <laughs> one is just out for the count. <laughs> Contestants that were still conscious um, rushed off to gather ingredients. How are they going to make that much food? I'm sure they'll figure something out. I watched each of them cook furiously at breakneck speed. Violet was hard was hard at work, sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I've ever I'd seen her have all day. I can read good. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Four was trying to cook his spaghetti with only a microwave. Oh, that's not good. I'm not sure this will be too much of a contest. One minute left. Violet filled hundreds of laid out bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blinked, you missed her, or finish a whole row. Each looked both delicious and artistic. You would have thought uh, a cook would have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. Five settled on making out four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. Crowd cheered as they stampeded to the laid out bowls they were practically salivating. After everyone wolfed down uh, bowls from each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. The people have spoken. And with the resounding majority, our first ever winner of the best chef on the island in the middle of nowhere award is Violet. Well, Violet said that. The, cheer cra the crowd cheered, myself included. I did it, me, I did it. Violet jumped up and down with joy. I felt like a kid in a candy store just from one look at her. And then I had to read the actual result. You won fair and square. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, your food was the best I've ever had. 
Though, if you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. Hey, I just had an idea. What if we get Violet to cook for the staff lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we've had real food. What's that supposed to mean? Honestly, I think that's a, it's a great idea. I know I hide it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro. Violet and I took one look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. I would love to, you guys. Crowd's enthusiasm reached a level up, uh, of uproarious applause. Uproarious? Violet! 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 Oh, goodness, I, you're, you're all too kind. I put my arm around her and smiled. And guess you've got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. I... Violet leaned in to kiss me on the lips. For a moment, time stood still, and the only thing I could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Violet! 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 We laughed together. I had so much fun today, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Thanks to you. Here to join me by the beach after we clean up this place? I wouldn't miss it for the world. The world would pale in comparison. Hey. She reached her hand out to mine and I held hers tight in return. Hey, Violet. You really gave them a great show today, you know? I couldn't have done that without my ever-so-charming television host. We walked along the beach, our, bare, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Really, I... <clears throat> I'm so grateful to you, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Oh, and there goes my voice. <coughs> Last night, finding out what my parents did, I that was the lowest point I've ever been to. I held her hand even tighter. Honestly, I I didn't see a way out. Escaping the island or not, everything seemed like a dead end. But today you helped me remember that even without them, I've got I've got still got me. And I like me quite a bit. You really are incredible, Violet. That was all you with you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. Sorry, what was that? Uh, sorry. Let me try again. I know I'd be fine on my own, but I'd like me better if I was with you. When we get out of here, I do hope you join me for that cruise. She kissed me again. It felt like magic. V Violet, I... She put her finger against my lips. Shh. I know it's not quite the time for this conversation yet. But please do remember what I've said when this is all over. Do you mind if we walk for just a little longer? I... I don't want this to end. I'd walk with you for as long as you wanted to, Violet. We can talk. We can walk till the sun comes up. We can talk about anything and everything. So, how about we start with planning our cruise together? That would be lovely. Walk together till the dead of night. Nothing less than magical. Hmm. And on that note... Oh, this is still the end of the night? Okay. Uh, just after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it. Hope you two enjoyed your date today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time to get the show on the road. Ellie took out the master key from her pocket, spun it around the ring with her finger, then put it in the locked door. And... We're in. Turn the lock, then pulled the door open. Ooh, the door's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Must be soundproof or something. Whatever, let's go. Aw, oh, man, another, not another staircase. They would have saved so much money if they just put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Secret shmeep shmeekret. It's behind a locked door. I guess you have a point. Though there was another staircase, it wasn't nearly as long as the one to the lab. We'd been walking down the steps for only a few minutes when we saw where they led. This has to be it. What? What's it? 
A while back, Kat told me that all the information on this island was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Well, it's bullshit. They're an evil corporation intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have the internet. And I think we've just found a way into their closets, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. Information in here could change the tide of the war. Could have the, give the resistance a real fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that, too. What do you mean? My dad, mom, and my brother got taken, taken by these guys a long time ago. I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that could help me find them again, or at least find out what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason I came here. The whole reason I risked everything. I... What if it doesn't have what I'm looking for? What if... Allie... Huey ran to Allie's side and hugged her tightly. It's gonna be okay. You believe me. Believe in me, right? Uh, she took deep breaths. I'm sorry I had to see that. I'm, I'm okay now. Thanks, Huey. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? Let's do this. I looked to Violet as Ellie prepared to turn the computer on. Looked as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. Screen lit up with a single message. Password required. Well, I did think it was gonna going a little too smoothly. I'm not giving up just yet, though. Tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn it, I bet only Damien... Or cat know this, and there's no way we could just ask them. Silence fell upon the room. It can't end like this. It just can't. What kind of a secret agent are you? Should be able to hack a computer password. I've got an idea. Not gonna involve wrestling zombies again, is it? Hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is that I think I have a way to crack the code. I'm a programmer. I can make something that could try all the possibilities for the password. It would take some time, especially if it locked me out after too many attempts, but eventually I'd get the password. Though there's no guarantee we'd get the answer before the show was over. Meh. A lot better of a shot than I thought we had. Ellie ran over to Tara and hugged her tightly. Thank you. You awesome little you. Uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. In the meantime, the rest of us can try to figure out what the password would be as well. That reminds me, I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? Hmm? I have our escape plan. Took out the master key and held it out for us to see. There's a hidden hangar I found by the beach, just a little further from where I found, first found the plan. Now that we have this key, and we know that it works... We can use it to disable the hangar security, commandeer a plane, and then fly the hell out of here. We practically jumped for joy. I can't believe it. We're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well, soon, but not just yet. With this storm raging, there's no way we're getting anywhere tonight, least of all off the ground. But if there's clear skies tomorrow night, that's where we'll be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah, what about your family? Well, that'd be the ideal case. But honestly, I've gotten to know you guys and care about you guys, and I, I've decided that it's more important to save the people I care about that are in front of me than chase a pipe dream. No, I won't accept it. If I were in your shoes, and I was looking for my brothers, and I just gave up looking for them, I'd regret it forever. And I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Huey speaks for us too. To have family that you care about, and that cares about you too, you can't just give up on that. But can't you find this information outside, like once we get out of here? Maybe? We're not going anywhere until we crack that code, even if it takes till the last day. You guys. No, I can't allow it. I won't take that chance with your lives. I'm not going to back down from this. What do you think, Vladimir Vladimirovich? 
Uh, I think we should leave. I don't... Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. Huh? I'm a programming god, best of the best. I'm gonna have that crack code cracked by tomorrow, and that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much, really. Why are you thanking all of us? I'm the one who has to write the code and shit. We laughed together, something that I thought might have been impossible after the initial bad news. We're in this together, and we're getting out together. No one gets left behind. After we called it a night, I laid in bed deep in thought. Who'd have thought I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? We've got this. We... Vladimir Vladimirovich, one more thing before you turn in for the night. What's up, Dada? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and... Oh, no. I got no idea. No, 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 no. I don't like where this is going. How to do this, cuz... I remembered that all I know about hacking are videos of people typing really fast and saying, I'm in. And... Gah! I practically flew out of bed. Thank God it was just a nightmare. Or was it? What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Come on! Good grief. And on that note, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.